Could you explain what a supercomputer is in five words? It's a computer with a performance beyond your imagination. What is the difference between a regular computer and a supercomputer? If I make uh, an analogy with uh, transportation, your laptop is a bicycle, while a supercomputer is even beyond a Formula One race car, but might be like a jet plane that goes at three times the speed of sound. What are the three most important uses of supercomputers? Let's not forget that one of the first usages for supercomputers was simulating the explosion of nuclear bombs, which led to the ban of exploding those bombs. Now, of course, we have many more um, civil and peaceful applications of simulating the human brain, simulating the whole human body, simulating uh, individual cells and how they interact with uh, hundreds of thousands of medical compounds. How green is supercomputing? If you look at the supercomputer itself, you will be shocked. It's absolutely not green. Bringing together hundreds of millions of computers, you can imagine the aggregate consumption of electricity. It's in the order of the tens of megawatt, which is what a, a small city is consuming. But you have to look beyond the pure consumption of the supercomputers and really look at where their results are helping you in the green transition. A lot of the progress we're doing today in greening our planet, in reducing CO2, in the avoiding uh, uh, natural catastrophes, are linked to the predictions to the simulation modeling done by supercomputers. What other types of digital twins can we expect? Is the EU funding them? The one that is now the most advanced is the one on Destination Earth, creating a digital twin of our planet. But we have other that are being supported actively by the European Union and the member states to recreate digital twins of different organs to understand down to the cell level and up to the system level how they function but also how they function in relation with other organs to come up to something like the digital virtual human where we can simulate the full body. How does Europe fare on a global level in terms of HPC performance? We should not be shy about uh, what we have uh, achieved in the last uh, few years, where we managed to come back to the world first league in computational power. We now have the number three and number four fastest supercomputer uh, in the world. Uh, soon another one to join that would be around between three and five again. And hopefully next year we'll have the first exascale supercomputer that uh, we count on placing Europe at the forefront number one.